Mini DV Stabilizer is a lightweight, easy to use, and ultra portable stabilizer designed for today's small camcorders weighing up to two and a quarter pounds. Its compact design makes it one of the smallest and lightest stabilizers on the market, while allowing for exceptionally smooth shots in virtually any setting. This tutorial is designed to help you get started setting up and using your stabilizer quickly with desirable results. To start, remove the camera mounting plate by unscrewing the two wing nut fasteners. Underneath, you'll find the camera mounting bolt. Be sure not to misplace it. Next, remove the counterweight washers from the base by unscrewing the wing nut fasteners. Configure your camera as it will be while in use. You should have the battery installed, tape or other media in, and viewfinder in shooting position. If you plan to shoot with any add-on accessories, install them at this time. Using your finger, Carefully locate the approximate center of gravity of your camera. Using the provided camera mounting bolt, attach the camera to the mounting plate with the appropriate side-to-side -side positioning, which will place the camera's center of gravity in line with the center shaft to the Mini DV stabilizer. This will likely require some further adjustment later, so approximate positioning is okay for now. Attach the mounting plate to the mini DV stabilizer with appropriate fore to aft positioning to place the camera's center of gravity in line with the center shaft of the mini DV stabilizer. This will also likely require further adjustment later, so approximation is sufficient for now. Ideal setup of the mini DV stabilizer assumes that the camera's center of gravity is positioned exactly over the center shaft. Some shooting configurations, such as those where accessories are being installed on the camera, may make it impossible to achieve such positioning. In those circumstances, uneven counterweighting will need to be used to compensate. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will assume that the camera's center of gravity is located exactly over the center shaft. As such, counterweighting will be distributed evenly front to back. The point at which the gimbal connects to the center shaft is known as the reaction point. Add counterweight washers to the base of the mini DV stabilizer until even balance is achieved at the reaction point when the assembly is oriented horizontally. Be sure to evenly distribute the counterweight washers. The mini DV stabilizer should be counterweighted such that a fine amount of bottom heaviness exists. Too much bottom heaviness will result in a pendulum like behavior which will not yield desirable filming results. From the current state of even balance, a very small amount of weight is all you need. One way to test the assembly is to observe its drop time. From a horizontal orientation, allow the unit to drop to a vertical orientation. It should take approximately one and a half to two seconds to make this drop if counterweighted appropriately. Now that the assembly is properly counterweighted, you can accurately position the camera's center of gravity. Ensure that the counterweight washers are centered as well as possible. From a level surface, lift the mini DV stabilizer assembly and make note of any tilting that exists, either side to side or fore to aft. For macro adjustment of significant tilting, adjust the camera's physical position to compensate. For micro adjustment of slight tilting, Adjust the positioning of the counterweight washers to compensate. The assembly is in proper balance when no tilting occurs when lifted from a level surface. Now that your mini DV stabilizer is appropriately balanced, in the next section we'll go over some basic operating principles. The results you achieve with your mini DV stabilizer will vary based on a number of factors involved with your shots. However, starting with a few basic fundamentals will allow you to plan each shot appropriately for your desired results. As with anything, consistent practice will improve your operational skills over time. 
Use your dominant hand to hold the assembly by the pistol grip handle. This hand should be used to make all major movements with your MIDI DV stabilizer. Your other hand should be used to control panning, tilting, and angling. These adjustments should be made as close as possible to the gimbal and with as little effort as is required to accomplish the adjustment due to the possibility of introducing unwanted movement into your footage. With careful planning, these basic fundamentals can be used as the foundation of virtually any shot with impressive results. You're now ready to shoot. Good luck and enjoy your mini DV stabilizer.